You asked for it, so we've done it. Another f***ing orange jersey. We're on the way to the Atticus offices to unveil a brand new bit of cycling kit. It's well orange. I've seen it. Well, you've seen it. Ages ago, with my friends from Atticus, we released a f***ing orange jersey. This year, as a lot of you know, I'm racing a bunch of mountain bike races with Lawrence, and we needed some race kit. It's also orange, but we've made a few changes, and we've done a black one as well, for people who don't like orange. Just like last time, we're releasing them as a pre-order. So, if you go to the link in the description of this video, you can see all the details. There is a lead time, they'll be ready in early September. The pre-order is open from today until Monday the 14th, so there's a week to get your orders in. Uh, Bella? Can't you see we? <laughs> what are you wearing? Gilets of t-shirts. It's all the rage. It's all the rage in County Durham. I've seen Rob Quirk do that. Have you? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. I thought I was oh, first. God, I'm no, not. Oh hell. You're making this work. <laughs> what what do we do? No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Unravel it, Bully. Hey, you have to do a little flip. Come. We're coming. Francis, what are you doing? I can't, I'm I can't go. Are you trying to tell me that all of the watts that you're capable of putting out, you can't ride that bike through there? Pedaling the wrong way. Oh, it's decaffeinated. Decaffeinated? When you just want to taste burnt ash in your mouth, but don't want to feel anything. You Norm want normal. elevated heart rate and stress. Normal heart rate. And anxiety, yeah. Is that uh, what you get when you drink coffee? Yeah. Why do you drink coffee then? Do you know, here's, here's, here's two things you can try instead of having coffee. One, just smell it. That can sometimes be enough to wake you up. Or just have a hot beverage. So like even hot, a glass of hot water will wake you up. I actually think it's because we're so programmed to having coffee. That tricks your body. Your body goes your like, oh, I'm having a hot coffee. Where actually you're just having hot water. Just been having a very important planning session about doing a sunrise ride. That's top secret though. Which is top secret. And it's going to be really difficult because sunrise is now, well, we're going to have to get up at like 2.30 in the morning. Does it get dark at night here? anymore. No, never. No, it's just light on night. It's going to be an early start. So we are in the... But it'll be worth it. Arctic Circle. I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was like the Northern Circle. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's going to be early. Well, let's just go sleep in a field. This is, this, is, this is one for everyone watching. Would you rather sleep in a bed for three hours or sleep in a field for six? Hello, boyos. Hello, boyos. <laughs> Productive morning, got photos of the kit, went to the tip, that was off camera. Electrician coming around so we can finally start the garage conversion today. It has been a massive struggle getting tradesmen in to um, actually start the process of that, so fingers crossed they don't cancel. We should get back just before they do. I was trying to take it easy, but also look like I was going fast during that mountain bike shoot this morning. Because- You're such a pro at that. Huh? You're such a pro at that. What, looking like I'm going fast? Yeah. Years of like, look pro but go slow. Is that what it is? Basically, I've got a big road ride planned tomorrow, so I don't want to do too much damage today. It's that ride with Tony and Pete yesterday, plus the ride before with Sam. I've ended up with a well, quite a big week of training in the end, and I did tell myself I was going to try and reduce my hours, but obviously that's impossible when it's nice and sunny outside for the first time in ages. I'm trying to give the legs a break, and the sunburn a bit of a break too. Is Jay using my bike? Uh, your road bike, yeah. It's like, who's H? Oh, everyone has just presumed who it is but they don't actually know. Everyone thinks it's Bike for James. Yeah. His name begins with B, not J. <laughs> no, but everyone's like, oh, I can't wait to see James. And it's like, you haven't even said it is James. You've just said it's a J. It's really Ooh. funny. I hope no one's disappointed with the answer. Surely that's not meant to be on there. Yeah, that's the chopping. That's how, that's how it does the chopping. What? Look guys, I've got a new toy. I feel really old now, but I'm excited about this. Got a strimmer and a rake. Stand Life is like, wild. You stand on it like Sasha Wolf does. Go. <laughs> You'd all like to see that, wouldn't you? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God! Electricians actually turned up. Progress is actually being made. I don't want to jinx it. Phase one of the conversion has begun. Look at them. Those are 5,500 Kelvin battens. Super bright LEDs, basically daylight temperature. These are just the main first ones going in. There's also gonna be ones along the edge of each side of this garage, because there's also gonna be workbenches all around here, and we want light right above them, shining down so you can see everything you're doing and you're not in your own light. Because if you just had this middle one, be casting a shadow in front of you, and then everything you're trying to work on is just 
in the shadow. Just looked straight at that for way too long and now I can't see properly. Whole way around the room, we've got these little outputs which are gonna be nice plug sockets. We've done these the same height as you would a kitchen. So most worktops will come up to about 90 centimeters. Wanted these high enough to clear that safely and enough of them around the room so there's always access. Cause I'm gonna be putting some of my own studio lights on this side of the room and kind of filming in that direction. The rest of the lights going in next week and then there's a little break because builder's got to come in sort out these put them all on the wall and the garage door has got to change before anything happens that actually has to go because um there's all of these at the frame for the rollers whereas the garage door i'm getting will just go straight up and not take up any space never thought i'd be that excited for a garage but i'm very excited for a garage even got my own light switch we now head to the shops because we haven't got any food in the house and i need something because big road ride tomorrow well I'll get carb load haven't i tomorrow's ride i'm actually really looking forward to because since Coming up to the northeast and looking for houses and then living here, I have done one road ride in the Pennines. Just because all the off-road stuff around here is so good and I've got into mountain biking, it'll be nice as an excuse to show this person around, whose name begins with J, to go into the Pennines, check out some of the racing roads around there. And it should end up being a pretty big day. I think four and a half, five hours in total. So let's get some food, fuel up. Am I far enough over the line? I'm prepared. You are far enough over the line. All I got was bagels. And Daisy got the biggest macaroni cheese in the world. It's probably like a serves to you one. It's so heavy. It's like a, a baby. Oh. You know what? I'm just going to enjoy it. Got your seatbelt on, please, sir. Do you think the atmosphere has changed in the outside world? As in people, because the sun is out now and everything is unlocking, they're all in a better mood? Because I think that's true. Even the people in the shop are nicer. It's because we live up north now. <laughs> what, it's just northern people? Yeah. They're definitely a lot more friendly than people in London. I've noticed them getting even happier since the sun has come out. But I bet everyone's happy in London right now as well, because the sun's out. Except for today, because it's raining. Every evening we look out of our window and see this sunset. And every day we think, why don't we go down there? Today is that day. Tell me how you wish you found. Tell me why you never Recording this on my GoPro because I managed to completely rinse my camera battery today. Loads of shooting, good fun. Looking back at the footage though, I didn't really explain about the jerseys this morning that well at all. Basically, I've designed in collaboration with Atticus a short sleeve orange jersey, a short sleeve black jersey, long sleeve orange jersey, and a gilet. If you're interested in buying any of those, link down below for more information. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm gonna sign today's video off here. It's now the next day. I'm about to go road riding with the elusive J. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Oh,